So I wanted to show you something. Here's a TK Enter application. I have a label at the top and I want to know which font TK Enter has chosen for this label. I didn't choose the font. TK Enter chose it for me. And I want to find out the default font name that TK Enter has chosen. I'll show you how to find this out. is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. Okay, so what we have here is all the standard stuff. I'm importing TKSTK and also importing TTK. We're creating a root window and we're setting the size of the window to 640 by 480. Then we have a label, which I've called label underscore welcome. And we're putting this label into root and we're setting the text to welcome to my application. Then we're packing it on the screen. So again, if I run it, this is what we get. And again, the issue is I'm trying to find out which font TK Enter has chosen for me automatically as a default. So to find out how default fonts work with TK Enter, we have to consult the documentation. This is from tcl.tk, which is the manual for, for TK, the, the toolkit itself. And these are the names of the named fonts that are used by TK Enter. So you'll notice there's TK default font, there's TK text font, and a whole bunch of other ones. So TK Enter will automatically choose a font based on your operating system. So the font that I'm using here with Linux will be different from say Windows or Mac OS. And if we scroll down on this page, we can see some other named fonts that are uh, supported. Like in Windows, there's these names that, that you can use. And for Mac OS X, there's a whole bunch of other uh, named fonts to choose from. But the ones that are common uh, for all the operating systems are these ones here, which isn't a, a huge list. So this one is interesting. It's called TK Default Font. So knowing this, we can do the following. So here we can say from TK Enter import font. So we're going to use font here. We're going to be using that. And then here I'm going to put in default font equal font dot name to font. Then I'm going to pass in TK default font, which is the same one that was listed on the website. Then I'm going to print default font and let's see what we get down in the console down here. Okay, so it prints TK default font. But what is that exactly? Is it a string? Well, let's find out. I'm going to pass in type default font so we can find out what kind of object this is. It's a TK enter dot font dot font with a capital F. So it's a font based object. Okay, so knowing this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put font details equal default font dot actual. And that's a method. And if I print it, let's see what that gives us. Okay, so it gave us a dictionary. And, and look at that, that's the information that we were looking for. So the family is the basically the, the font, and this is the font that TK default font is using on my operating system. It's uh, Deja Vu Sans. And it gives me some other information here as well, like the size, the weight, and a whole bunch of other things. And we can actually find out 
what other named fonts are available right from TK Enter. So for example, instead of print font details, I'm going to put here print font, which is you know, the one from up here, the one where we imported font, uh, we imported font from TK Enter. So font dot names. So just names. And then we're going to, we're going to run it. And let's see what that gives us. So here we go. It gives us a tuple of named fonts. And we can see TK default font down at the, the bottom here. So that's how we can find out what actual fonts are being used behind the named fonts uh, that are the defaults. Uh, these are the, the fonts that TK Enter chooses for us by default, depending on our operating system. By the way, I have a donation page on ko-fi.com slash jobinpai. For those of you that have already donated, I'm very, very thankful. So I really appreciate it. If you find these tutorials useful, please consider visiting ko-fi.com slash Until the next tutorial, thanks for watching.